Hello fellow Glowforgers and the laser world. Um, my name is Misa and I put together this package of um, ornaments to be laser cut uh, and customized for different sizes of families. And so you can see you can do a family of two, three, four, all the way to a family of seven. Um, and my idea was that the name of each family member could be engraved on each of these little Christmas balls. All right, so let me go ahead and show you really quickly how I, an illustrator, go ahead and pop these names in um, and get them ready to just upload to the Glowforge app and be ready to be cut and engraved. So I've just gone ahead and zoomed into this family of three and selected the type tool, the T over here on this menu bar. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the first ornament and make this for a friend of mine. She's got a daughter, Eva. All right, and click again on the next ornament, and she's got a daughter, Sophia. And then on the last one, clicking again, and mom is Ariana. Okay, then I'm gonna go up to the selection tool and just reposition, um, shift, click, drag to make them a little bigger. I like to use the arrows to move things up and down. Shift, click, drag. And shift, click, oops, shift, click, drag, Eva. Okay, and so right now these are text, and so they will not upload into the Glowforge, which is what I'm using. So I want to make sure that we turn these into a compound shape um, so that the Glowforge will engrave them. Also, you see that um, the design that's already preloaded in the template is going to be a red stroke with no fill, um, and it will be cut. And then um, we're going to go ahead and leave these names uh, for engraving. We're going to have no stroke, and we're going to have a black fill. Okay, so let's start with Ariana. I'm zooming in a little bit more here. So I'm just going to go over to the properties menu here to the right, right bottom right now, and we're going to do click. Uh, I'm going to click create outlines. All right, and then you can see the overlap here. Each letter is separated, and we're just going to union them, put them all together with Pathfinder. I'm going to click these two overlapping um, squares here, and that puts it all together as one compound shape. Now I'm going to zoom out, and we're just going to do the same thing to Sophia and Eva. Click to select, create outlines, Pathfinder, unite. Done. I don't even have to go that far over to Eva, create outlines, Pathfinder, Unite. All right, and now these are ready to go. Um, so I would just pop that into my Glowforge app and it would bring it up um, as the red to cut and the black to engrave and you would be ready. So this is a multi-layered ornament, sorry. Um, and so this is the second layer. You would just glue these two pieces together. Don't mind. This guy needs help. Next door digest. All right. Um, and so the, the, the top layer is this little bit more dainty layer, and it's going to have your little ornaments. And you're just going to glue that onto this back layer, which also will also have our family um, engraved on it. And that's just, go ahead, that's just preset for you. And so you can see this can be done for a family of two through seven. Um, and then there's also a back template that just allows you to add whatever you would like on there. And so I'm just going to um, show you to do, let's say uh, we want to add the, uh, the Henson family, okay? So I'm going to go back over to text. I'm going to click in this, this box here. And I'm just going to change it to, let's say, Times Roman. And I'm going to go V, Enter for Return, Henson Family. I'd like that to be centered, so under Paragraph, I'm just going to do that to the middle. Um, so that doesn't look super centered, does it? Let's try this. The and then new text box. Henson family. Um, in 
case it isn't apparent, I've been using Illustrator for maybe a month or six weeks, and I'm not um, super savvy yet. So I'm just going to go down here to align and put those right um, next to each other. And then I'm just going to pull this down a little bit because I just like a light, uh, I like a tighter fit. I'm going to click and drag to select the whole thing. I'm going to go scroll down to on my properties, create outlines, Pathfinder, Unite. And then that just makes it a compound shape instead of the text, um, just like we did for the names. And it will go ahead. What am I doing? Shift, select both, go ahead and align. Work smarter, not harder, I guess. That's what Daryl would tell us. Okay. All right. Oh, boy. All right. So selecting all. And I'm going to go ahead and group them just so I can move it around more easily. And so you'll see here, we pop that in, and oops, look, it overlaps. So we want to really make sure that our, I'm going to go ahead and ungroup, so we make sure that we've got our spacing correct, right? So I think that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and group, move it back over, there. All right, so let's say um, the Henson family is a family of six, and that's one of my tighter ones, so I think that will actually fit, even if it was over here on the family of seven. That'll fit no problem. Um, so you can have all the names of your family members and then go ahead and pop in um, the last name to make it even more personalized. Okay, hope that was helpful, um, and thanks so much for watching.